Hey little sweetie babes, it is Monday. Got six new squishies for us now. Bubble, are you sorry? This literally looks like a filet of fish on a keychain. Super weird. Oh yeah, got six new ones here. Crazy things. Oh, I've never seen any of these. Look at this thing. It is called a blue gachamaku. What is that? It is so, so cute. But more than how cute it is, it's like a little alien. It is so, so squish. And I cannot figure out what it is. Colleen got me this. And I've been squishing it ever since. Got a thumbs out. Ugh. Bubble, one question. Why is it called a blue gachamaku? Because it's pink. What's going on? I got this one here I picked up yesterday. It is so cute. I've never seen a little slime. It's called a snail trail. It's kind of a snail shell. It's got like a little slug. And I guess there's some slime or goo inside. Can't wait to check that out. So now that I'm looking at my table here, Colleen actually dropped me off three. She dropped me off this gachamaku, whatever this little guy is. She dropped me off a homemade squishy stress ball. Ooh, feels nice. And one of these... It's called a crystal monster. Oh, why does it say Dragon Quest? What is that? What is a crystal monster? And is it squishy? Is it? I don't know. So when she dropped this one off to me, I was like, what is it? She said, I think it's a squishy. I'm not too sure, but I kind of think it is just because of the way it looks. I hope so. As your final two little squishy teens, we're going to be tearing up today. We got these two right here. This is a squishy tomato. Now, it's not one of those like kawaii foamy ones. This one is really squished. It's really stretchy. Something weird. I don't know if there's water. I don't know if there's like that play doh stuff, but I like that one. And the final, don't even tell me. It's a McDonald's fish filet bubble. Is it a fish filet? Are you crazy? The last one, I found this a couple days ago. You guys, this looks like the most realistic food squishy ever. It's got like this McDonald's bun, kind of looks like a Big Mac, and when you flip it, it's got a little, like a little cucumber, a little ham and cheese. It's got a little mayo on there. This thing is so cute. Oh, it smells like butter. So I want to chop it up. I want to see what these little cold cuts are, if they're big or if they're squishy. See. So we did the intro. I showed you all these little squishy things here. Now it is time to investigate. See what we got going on in here. And if you guys are ever going to do this at home, just make sure you have an adult or parent supervising. Because our shishis are very sharp. And you never know what's inside of these. Come on. Let's do this. Look everybody. Bubble got a new pair of scissors from Colleen. It looks like a pen. It's got three little aliens from Toy Story. But when you pop it open. Look at that. It's shishis. Can you believe it? Crystal, look at that. Looks like a pen. Oh no, Bubble, you are starting with the Crystal Monsters, the Dragon Quest. Whoa. Tweety Paz, we are started, and I have to start with this one because I am so, so curious. Look at this, it almost looks like a little blind box. It's got some Japanese writing. It says Crystal Monsters. What is this thing? It goes, time to reveal the Crystal Monster. See if it is squishy. Ooh. What? Oh, are you serious? Colleen told you this was a squishy? Well, it's not. It's like a rock. What's going on here? Can't believe it. Hey, how did this get onto my squishy chopping show? Oh, you guys, actually, it's kind of cool. But it is not squishy. Just like a little keychain. It kind of looks like a slimy ball. Rock solid. Look at that thing. Bubble, this thing is all sorts of weird because it looks like there's liquid inside, like it's water, but I don't think it is because I can't squeeze it. This thing, this thing is a crystal monster, for sure. I'm Team Crystal Monster! Looks like I got that guy right there on the side of the package with the king crown. I mean, this is like one of the cutest little keychains ever. It's super heavy though. It feels like it's about two or three pounds. It is rock solid. No squishy going on here, but I like it. Oh, this crystal monster looks like he stuffed his face with like a gallon of water. Look at those cheeks. He's about to explode. Me don't like it. He's not a squishy. So there it is, guys. Our first squishy on the chopping block. Actually, wasn't a squishy. I hope I didn't disappoint. Let's move on to something else. Yeah, Bubble, please, let's move on to something else. Like the blue gachamaku. That is really pink. Okay, do it. Well, here we are on to number two, another little squishy teen from Colleen. Now this is so funny. I think this is the blue gachibaku, whatever that is. He's so cute. But I got this little alien, little pink guy. 
and the squish on this thing is like incredible. I don't know if there's slime or some kind of water. It might even be like a super solid rubber. I don't know. Ugh, love it. Let's see with your new green shizzies. Ooh, ooh, they're good. They're sharp. Gotcha Everybody, let me introduce you to Mr. Gachimaku. Oh, this thing, you know, now that I take it out of the package, this is so crazy. It feels rock solid. It doesn't feel like there's any slime or water, like a splat ball. It's just a really, really squishy rubber. I don't think I've ever seen one like this. It's crazy. Look at the stretch on it. it feels like a big piece of pink bubble gum, really. It's so, so cool. Ugh. Oh, this is what I would call the ultimate stress ball or stress reliever. Like you could squeeze it, it's never gonna pop. It's unreal. I love those spikes. Better not chop me, Bubble. I'm the blue Gachamaku. Bubble, this Gachamaku either looks like an alien or a little baby with no hair. It's so funny. Tickle it. Let's squish this baby enough. I've been squeezing at it and I think it's solid, but it must be the craziest, squishiest rubber ever. And I'm ready, ready to chop it up. Let's see. Ooh. Oh, that's like some pink smooth bubblegum. I chopped off this poor little guy's feet. Oh, you guys, it is. It is that rubbery stuff, almost like a silicone material. Oh, it's so, so soft. And it's kind of like rough on the outside, but the inside is smooth and silky. I love that. Chop a little more. Bubble, was it really necessary to slice him up the middle? That was crazy and rude, but cool. Look at this thing. Look at it. Smells so bad. Let's make a pink gachamaku salad, shall we? Wow. Crunchity crunch. Slices like mango. the last one. I can't complain. I liked it, but it was kind of boring. It didn't have any slime or anything crazy inside, but we got your Colleen homemade. Unless she was in it. Oh, a Colleen homemade is never boring. It's actually unbelievable. Pop it. can't figure it out. Some kind of slime or putty or something like always, but I feel something else. Let's see. Slice. Ew. Ew. Green goo. Ah! Oh, another squishy miracle. This thing exploded on both sides at the same time. Ew. Ew. What is that? looks like, I don't know why, maybe I'm crazy. It looks like the Hulk arm with his little hand and his muscle and like he's ripping out of a pink shirt or something. That's what it looks like. I don't know. Let's see, Ooh, this is sticky. This must be one of her homemade slams with Orbeez. I think she was going for a Hulkster slam. A Hulk slam, that's what it looks like, Bubble. And I feel something inside, like a little plastic baggie. Ooh. Ooh. What is that? Ooh, there's a little baggie in here, but you guys, it's so stuck to this slime. I think I'm going to have to chop it out. That's a first, because I just can't get to it. What is that? Ooh. Ooh. <gasps> no. Oh, so cute. It's like a little ice cream. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. There's something else. Another baggie. Oh, 
here we go. You guys, this is so cute. So when I first popped this baby open, I thought it was going to be something gross, like some bugs. I saw this green gooey stuff. It looks like boogers, but no way. Look what you put in here. They are these two little, like, I don't know what they are. They kind of look like little keychains without the keychain. This is a French crepe. It's got whipped cream, little strawberries, some white chocolate. Oh, look at that thing. And to tell you the truth, it's kind of squish. Love that. Oh, you love that? Well, you're gonna love this even more. She gave us a little fishy cake, a fishy cookie with some pink whipped cream, a little bit of lemon, a little piece of chocolate, and a straw. And it's squishy. It's awesome. Here's another close-up of these, and they are making me so, so hungry. They're making my mouth water. Look at that squishy whipped cream. It looks like, it just looks so real, like a cake icing. That looks like a toasted cookie and French crepe. Ugh. Unbelieves. Where does she find this stuff? I don't know. These two adorable little sweetie treats to the side, and look at this slime. Ooh, it's got Orbeez popping out. It is so, so soft. It's almost like a cream. <laughs> it feels like a creamy, kind of buttery slime. So nice. It's got little green sparkles. Little Orbeez popping everywhere. Oh, it looks like hysterical when those little Orbeez start popping everywhere. I love that. Okay, let's squish this a little bit. Ooh. So that was squishy number three, a Colleen homemade. I loved every bit of it. Move along. Oh, I wish this was real. I like want to eat it right now, but it's not. But I wish it was. Ew, Bubba, this crystal monster is like eating the slime. So gross. Ew. Bubba messed up on your chopping block. A squishy tomato keychain. Can you believe it? A keychain tomato? Actually, Bubba, I'm going to chop off that keychain because we don't need it. Oh no, look at this juicy red tomato right in front of me. Oh, this thing. You know, it kind of looks real from far. When you pick it up, not so much. Looks like it's fresh from the garden. Oh, it's so cool. I believe you me, Bubba. This tomato ain't real. Look at this. I have had like a couple little fruit and veggie squishies before. I think I had like a corn. I had a, what was it? Maybe like a banana with this kind of material. So squishy and stretchy. Oh, I just love it. I love it. And I also have a tomato with the kawaii foam. But this is something crazy and sad. Oh, this tomato doesn't splat. When you squeeze it, it turns from red to pink. Look at that. Now it's pink. I have to say, this is the squishiest one of the day. I mean, this pink one, this little jagamuchi, whatever it was called, it's so, so soft, but this thing is just like, <laughs> it feels like you're just squeezing some, some Play-Doh. Oh, I don't want to do this because I could squish on it all day, but we got to, let me try these new little scissors here. Let's see. Ooh. Creamy tomato. Oh, I'm afraid so. That is mashed potato. That is not play-doh. That is not slime. That's tomato mashed potato. And it's gross. Looks like a scoop of ice cream. Oh, I can't believe it. You guys, I was almost 100% sure it was that stretchy white, that play doughy stuff. Oh, I love that. But no, we got these gross mashed potatoes. I mean, if these don't look like mashed potatoes, I don't know. They look like they have butter. They look like instant potato. Ooh, we got some more. But I do like these shishis. They sliced it really good. Oh, no, it's empty. Ooh, a little more. Ugh, oh, this stuff stinks. It smells like rotten oats, like oatmeal. Bubba, tell me something. How could a beautiful, juicy red tomato have something like this inside? That ain't right, and you know it. I 
have definitely seen this kind of feeling. This I call it mashed potatoes. I don't know what it is, but I have never figured out like what it is. Maybe it's some kind of like a flour with a little glue. I don't know what material it is. It's so sticky and gross. Sticks to everything. Wow. <laughs> Gonna clean this out a little bit. Now the inside of this, I mean, you guys, if that doesn't look like a real tomato, I don't know. It looks juicy. It looks just like the real thing. That is so weird. I don't know how they did that. Ooh, and I love these scissors. I could chop with them all day. They're so smooth. Look at that. Question number four, mashed potato tomato. Move along. Oh, mashed potato tomatoes don't exist in my world. Get it away. Still got two more goodies left, but I am so curious about this one. It is Snail Trail. Slime time fun. Open it. So, this comes with a snail shell and a snail, and like, we're gonna make our snail a trailblazer. Let's do it. Ooh, this one is cool. You guys, this is so, so cute. Look at this little snail that came with it. It is squishy, it's stretchy. I thought it was just plastic. But it's a slimy little guy. It's like a slug. Now it is time to open up our snail shell. I am wondering if it's gonna be like an orange goo or slime or some other color. I just have no clue. Ooh, I love this little guy. Let's see. Oh, hey, sass. This looks like real snail slime or like some kind of boogies or snot. Ugh. You guys, normally I don't have that reaction, but when I opened this and I felt it, oh, oh, it has the, it almost feels like yogurt. It's got such a slimy texture and like a, it's almost like a liquidy. I thought it was going to be orange putty, so I was wrong. This is gross. Get it out of here. Ew, I don't even want to touch it. Ugh. This ain't no snail glue. This is like egg whites. It looks like raw egg. What's going on on your chopping block? Yeah, I mean, if there was ever a contest for the slimiest, stickiest, like runny slime, this would be it. Oh, you guys, look at this stuff. It looks like an egg white, like a raw egg. It's kind of cool, though. It's got this weird, like, sticky stuff flying off of it. I like it, though. It's kind of weird. Got a yucky color. Eee, it looks like boogies. <laughs> wow. I'm reading the instructions here. Ew, it says remove cap of snail container and pour your snail slime on any surface. Make snail trails, snail trails of slime by dragging the snail through the slime. Hmm. Look at this little snail fact. A snail has a soft body that is long and slimy, and at the bottom of a snail's body is called a foot. Alrighty, Bubba. Let's make some snail trails. Let's drag the snail. All over this table. Yeah. Yeah. I actually didn't know the slime was going to be bigger than the snail. Ew, you're supposed to like drag it through. It looks like it's sitting on eggs. That's what it reminds me. But I love this squishy little guy. He's so, so cute. But this. So weird. Oh, just forget about making snail trails. Let's just squish on it. Ooh. Ooh. Snail, make a snail trail. Stop sleeping. Make a snail trail. What are you doing? Oh, this is literally got to be one of the laziest snails on the planet. Like, it doesn't want to make trails. It just wants to sleep. <laughs> so that was that. Every once in a while, you come across a weird little slime. This was definitely one of them, but I like it. I want to shave it. Put it back in this little shell. Shave it for later. From snail goo to a little ham and cheese. Look at this thing, you guys. It is such a crazy looking squishy. It just looks so real. And I think what's making it look so real is this like glaze on here. It looks like a big Mac bun. Oh, it's so buttery. Sesame seeds. Uh, when you look at the top of it, it looks like a hang sandwich or like a Big Mac. But when you flip it, it looks like a little donut. Ain't that crazy? 
good part of all this? I do have two of these. I have two of the same exact one, so I'm going to destroy one. I'll keep one for the collection. I am so curious. Look at this little piece of ham, or like it looks like a bologna. Is it squishy? What is that stuff? It's got a little mayo. It's got a little pickle or like a cucumber. It is just so unreal. Ugh, love it. Here goes nothing, Bubba. Let's slice and dice the sandwich or whatever it is. Let's see. Bread. Ooh, it even smells more like butter when you chop it. Okay, so this is so weird. When you go into this little thing, it's like that memory foam. Not the squishiest. It's kind of like a sponge. But this is almost like a paper on top. Like this super shiny orange stuff. It feels like you're chopping a paper. Look at that. Listen. So strange. Let's get to the cold cut. Mm. Oh, they literally tricked us. They made us think there were a bunch of cool cuts in the sandwich, but this is all we got. Can you believe it? Like little mini pieces of, like, like ham or something. Yeah. Inside of that, we get this little pickle. Look at this thing. It's squishy. It's so tiny. Yeah, that's supposed to be the mayonnaise. Let's see if we can cut it. Ooh. There we go. This looks like glue, but it's supposed to look like mayo. Let's cut it. Nice. And for the final sandwich ingredient, we get little pieces of ham. Squish a ham. There. There it is, my little bubble teams, the final squishy chop, and I'm actually kind of happy I did because I love this material. It's kind of like a paper. It sounds so cool when you slice it. It's a good one. It smells so good. Oh, bubble! Your chopping block looks like today's lunch! Mmm! Okay, guys, here it is, the ending scene on my table. I actually kind of like it, all different colors going on. I like Colleen's homemade goo, those little orbs. Well, I liked everything except two things. I couldn't stand the tomato mashed potato, and I couldn't stand the dragon crest. Whatever this thing is. Cause it ain't squishy! Love it for you, little squishy teens. So leave me a comment. Let me know out of all these things what you like or what you didn't like. And we are going to have so many more fun videos coming up on the show. And if you want to subscribe to our channel, just click this big yellow bubble with the bubblegum machine and subscribe. Have a great day, you guys. Bye!